Welcome back to Uncorked, everyone. I'm your host, Bobby, and today I'm back with Isaac. Yes. And More books. Yes. I love books. Uh, and I love wine. Yeah, so. And I love one of the two. You can probably guess which one. But <laughs> you know what? I can respect books, and you know, maybe after this segment today, I'll be inclined to read all three. Let's get started with our first one. Um, it is a classic. So this is Madame Bovary. Okay. Um, so this is once called the most beautifully written book ever. Wow. Um, and it is, it's a beautiful love story, um, but it's also, it was very um, controversial at the time that this was written. Okay. So nowadays it's a classic piece of literature, but back in the day, this was scandalous. A little spicy read back yes. then, right? Yes. <laughs> so uh, Madame Bovary is a great book, and because it was such a scandalous book for its time, I decided to go with Pasqua, who their whole thing is, they are all about innovation. They really like kind of breaking the rules in Italy wine. Oh, so, so that's what we have right now. So what, what is different? What rules do they break? Exactly? Um, they blend different things. So, you know, we've had the Pasqua, the Romeo and Juliet wine a few sure. times on here. Yes. And it's the wine that they use. Um, they make it in a Valpolicella style or they dry it out very much like they do in a lot of Amarone, but they're using Merlot. So not traditional Italian grapes. Oh, so okay. they just play around with things like that. Gotcha. Um, so this one, this is the Louis. Okay. Or Louis. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. But they have aged this in Hennessy cognac barrels. Ooh. Yeah. So, a but it's twist. But they wanted to make sure that you still just tasted like wine. The barrel is a vessel to help age it and refine it. Okay. Um, you get a little bit of that, but it's not like a bunch of the bourbon aged wines you're getting on the market that are super sticky sweet. Like this tastes like a cap. Yes. But like a. Not you know, super heavy. Like a sophisticated cat. I'd say medium, medium yeah. to heavy. Yeah. Maybe, but, but nothing, uh, nothing too bad. Yeah, but a little scandalous to yes. traditional Italians. There you go. So. I like it. That's good stuff. Mm hmm. So next, and this new that might be the best pairing. It matches your outfit yet. perfectly. I love it. Yes. We're ready for fall. Yes. Bubbles. Um, this is The Godfather. Ah. And you a know. Tried and true classic. I had to do it, Francis Ford Coppola. For those who get it, you get it. For those who do not get this pairing, I'm about to tell you right now, Francis Ford Coppola directed the movie The Godfather. There it is. What better pairing is this? I mean, there isn't, uh, there isn't a better pairing. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to go with the bubbles. You don't have to go with this Prosecco Rosé. You can go with, he's got a whole line. Oh. So whatever you like, Merlot, I know you're getting into it right now. Yeah, I am. Now. Yes. It's having its renaissance. Pinot Noir, regular bubbles, um, rosé, chardonnay. They've got a whole lot. But line. you know what? Our fall is delayed here in Mississippi, so why not savor a little bit yes. of summer with this bubbly rosé? Because I it's not going to feel like fall till December. And next, we have a Netflix series that was actually a book to begin with. A lot of people don't realize. And this is Firefly Lane. Heard of it. This is heavy. Like, this is a very heavy and just the story, the storyline. So much happens in this book okay. that I can't tell you about that I had to go with the Dow. Okay, because? So the Dow story, um, they, you know, the war started in Iraq, like in their house. Okay. Like the first, the brothers suffered um, injuries from the war starting right there. Okay. Um, or sorry, the Leban Lebanese war started at their house. And right. so they fled to France and just their whole story, um, there's, it's so fascinating. And because there's so much that goes on in that book compared to their lives, I was like, what better? So how does this one contrast with the uh, Louis? So this is Petite Verdot and Petite Syrah. So okay. it's big, it's a bold. You're going to take a sip and it's going to turn your mouth red. Because okay. they're big, juicy, highly pigmented grapes. All right. So if the you like a big, know. bold wine, that's it. Yeah. And you need a big, bold wine to go with that story. Because it's, I mean, it plus, looks like it's uh, quite quite the thick uh, oh, yes. read there as well. So Yes. Thick wine, thick book. There you go. Yeah. Two Cs. All right. Well, thank you all so much. And we'll see you all next time. Cheers. Cheers.